All right, guys, Model Rockets 321 here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to start the day off with this scale model. It's the high deck, old school 1960s research rocket. I think it's an Atlantic research, same family as the um, Iris and all those rockets, the Arcus and all them. High deck, you don't hear that much about, but it's a cool one. So we're going to be flying this today on a D16 4FJ. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. Support the links below. SD's discount code, IN underscore 321. Shop SD's and put that in and get a discount. So we are going to be going. Let's get this rocket flying. Right, here we go. We got the high deck. I'm going on a D16 4FJ. And we are going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There he is way up. Nice. Parachute is out. Look at that smoke. Here he comes. Parachute. Yeah, he's out. And also, I was running an altimeter. I forgot to mention. Had an altimeter in there. I'm trying to look on the screen, see if I can see him. I don't see him yet. Oh, there he is. Is that him? Nah, that's dirt on the screen. To, there we go. I think I see him now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got him. So he's coming down right over the range pretty much. Not a lot of breeze out here today, so this is this is working out. It's perfect. Love it. So yeah, he's coming on down. Twirling and twirling. Nice. Nice, 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 yeah. Here he is. Put an SD's parachute in there. This is also a scratch build from Peter Always Designs. Um, it's a book he got called Scale Bash. We take kits. There you go, touchdown. We can take um, existing kits and use their parts and make a scale model. Nice launch on a D16 4 FJ. I wonder how high that went. He was up there pretty good. Short, short burn, but was still coasting up for a good while. And here we go. Touchdown. Nose cones on. Everything's there. I broke a fin on this one in Jersey years ago. Haven't had a broken fin since, but how are we doing today? And good. Good. That worked out. That was perfect. Got an altimeter in there. We will check the altimeter. Maybe in the debrief, or should I do it now? You guys want to see it now? Yeah, let's check it. We'll check it right now. I'm curious. I want to see how high it went. So we'll get back over here. We'll see how high this guy went. Nice. Nice. D16 4 FJ. As you see, I got the spacer in that red as the adapter, rather. So let's check it out. Model Rock Street 2. See the speed. Well, maybe I did. I don't know. 694 feet. I don't know. I don't know where the speed went, but went up there pretty good. No, top speed, 214 miles per hour. There we go. 214 miles per hour. Fast. Top fuel dragster. They're faster, I think. Here we go. Model Rock 321. Let's get on to the next one. All right, guys. Here we go. We got the Stealth Alpha, and we are ready to go on an E12-4. Let's do it. This should be a nice long burn to success, running an altimeter in there, so we should get some good results. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There it is, way up. Nice, long burn. There's that delay, E12, four second delay. There's that orange parachute. There he is. Yeah, he's up there pretty good. Let's see if I can find him. There he is, coming down. Coming down, yeah, he's up there good. E12-4 is a nice motor. Always like those. I remember E, was it E9s? There were some E9 motors back in the day that were pretty nice. Yeah. You were whistling. Oh, he's way over here now. Oh, yeah, he's up there, high up there. You see it? Behind me. Right here. Yeah, right in front of, like, over us, kind of. Yeah, I lost it for a sec, but there it is. There's a sun glare, sun glare out here today again. Oh yeah, he is hanging up there. I, I can't wait to see this altitude. This is, I think it's more, he's high, but the breeze up there is just holding on to him. All right, guys, Model Rock is here. So I just lost the Stealth Alpha with its altimeter. So your donations are needed. Use the cash app. Help me get a new one. So it is gone, gone, gone. I'm gonna take a search. It's over that way somewhere. Uh, if it was separation, I think the body's over this way because it went that way and then all right, they kept drifting and drifting too much. And I was like, yeah, we got some separation. So it's gone. Another lost rocket. But anyway, back to some flying. 
we're gonna be flying the um this is my scratch built Hellerock on a D62 B62. It did have a crash and I did have it repaired. It did work a couple times, but then it had that one crash that was weird out here. So this is the redemption flight. So we'll be flying it again on a B62. So here we go. Let's get this one going. And here we go. We got the Rotor Rock, Hella Rock, going on a B62. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is. And we got blades today. Check it out. Blades. Blades are happening. Right here with us. I'm not sure if you can see that yet. Ooh, the sun is just. Ooh, the sun is on me. Ugh. I can barely see the rocket, but hopefully you guys, because I can't really do anything much. I'm just trying to. Oh yeah, he's like right. Not in the sun directly, but the sun is like right there. Wow. Yeah, definitely heading towards the sun, so you may not see any of this. Let me see if I can move over here. He's coming down. Now he's getting below the sun. All right, here we go. This should be better. Here we go. Yeah, it's giving a nice spin. This is nice. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Nice. Spinning and spinning, coming down, touching down. Right there, either in that bush or behind that bush. But guys, this is Model Rocks 321. Thank you as always for tuning in. Lost the rocket today, lost my stealth alpha. Way out there somewhere, not sure where. Altimeter is lost with it. Gotta get a new one. That's this hobby. But we got a successful rotor rock. My rotor raptor did great a little while ago and now this one does great so these are back to good flying machines got their repairs all done and they are great flying machines going to do a quick search see if i can see the stealth outfit anywhere before i roll out and we will catch you on more videos to come appreciate you guys subscribe to the channel drop a thumbnail i mean drop a thumb <laughs> thumb up the video drop a comment support any way you can smile rockets three two one look at that rotor rock shadow check it out yeah, I wrote a rock day. And I'm out. Well guys, Model Rocket, Model Rocket 321 here. I just found my stealth alpha. Before leaving the site, you know you always gotta do that last check. What happened was the parachute ripped off. It was a nice nylon parachute and it ripped. Rip right through the disc. I think it was nylon. No, it was plastic. It was plastic. Rip right through the disc. Altimeters here. Kevlar's here all intact. It did take a crash. Tore up the nose. Motor is gone. So it ejected the motor. It was on, it was on with the um, tape method. You know, just using a friction fit tape. So that's gone. But yeah, altimeter's there. And we will do a reading. <laughs> I will do a reading for you. Check the debrief. Wow, super lucky. Found it. Just seeing if I see that motor, but that's probably long gone. That's somewhere else. But always check before you leave the site. So what I saw drifting around and I did eventually lose was the parachute all by itself. So there we go, guys. Mile Rocks 321, successful, fine. And we are out. Peace. All right. Welcome to the debriefing. Welcome to the debriefing. Today was a decent, decent day. I cannot complain. Um, I recovered one that I thought was gone, which we'll talk about in a minute. We'll save this guy for last. And we will start with this guy right here, the high deck. This is a old scale model. It's a sounding rocket accurately scaled from Peter Always plans. It's actually from the book called scale bash. We take existing kits and use those parts and you can build yourself a scale model so this is the high deck i believe it's you know part of atlantic research old school stuff um very old school this would be the payload section it carries its experiments i forget what the experiments was i have it in the book i have, let me shake some of this dirt out of here these rockets there the ejection dust stays up in there so yeah it's, it carries some kind of um, upper atmosphere experiments as usual had this nice black stripe that goes all the way around really cool design with the sky blue fins you know, super classic, just a classic design, um, old school stuff. A spacer in there. This can fly on the long E motors. So, got some dings and dents, but it's a flyer. Very true and straight flyer, a lot of fun. Flew it on a D16 4FJ. 
which I have it right here in the adapter since this is a 24 millimeter mount. This is my 24 millimeter adapter, which houses the 18s. And there it is right there, the 16 4 FJ. That's why I had that black smoke because this is a fast jack. So cool, cool, cool. You can't go wrong flying these Q jets. They're AirTech motors through, um, through uh, Quest. So you can get these. Very fun, super powerful motors, very fun and good to fly. So that was the first flight. Went without a hitch, went great. No complaints, always a true flyer. No matter what, great, great rocket. Recovered, everything's cool. All four, fin, all four fins are good, so perfection. Next up, we flew my, <clears throat> excuse me, my rebuilt Hella Rock. Don't really have a name, it's based on the QCR version, the one that I lost. If you saw some videos from months ago, um, you'll see me flying. The first time I took some Hella Rocks out, um, they flew great. I had the Estes version in my that QCR one, which you cannot get anymore. That one is a classic out of production kit. And um, I lost that one. I underestimated that rocket. It's super light, no paint on it at all. Just the little marker black on it, that version. And it took off and it hung in the air. It was on a C, it was on a C, it was on a C63, C6, yeah, C63. And it just whirled and whirled and whirled. It caught a little thermal, I believe, and it just sailed over into the neighborhood. I, w I went and looked for it, didn't find it. It's very similar to this one, but it had a, a balsa nose cone. This is my repair from here up, because it, um, no, this is a whole new build. What am I talking about? This is a whole new build, then it had a crash, then I had to repair it, so. But it did fly successfully the first, first time I ever took it out, and then the next time I had a crash with it, we were at that location with uh, Mob Rockets. But yeah, anyway, great flying rocket on a C63. No, actually I had it on a B62. I didn't want to put a C in there, because I just know, you know, these things can give you some great walks. So I, I went with a B62, and you still get some good altitude out of that. So you can get up there pretty good just to see it perform. You know, it um, swing its blades up, uh, all three of them, and it just whirls down real nice. So I cannot complain about the performance of this rocket at all. So it was a lot of fun. So all I had to rebuild, this is a, it's basically scratch build. I just followed the plans. I did some, own, some of my own work making hooks and things like that. Um, and um, it's a great rocket, great flying rocket. And it probably can get away with a small field on a nice calm day, or medium size, a decent sized field. You know, you never, never know what the wind is doing up there. So it can make it push it off into one direction and it can go away from me that you can lose it like I lost that other one but overall great flyer great rocket cannot go wrong with the hella rocks fun mystical and fun level last but not least was my stealth alpha I brought this out of it wasn't a retirement I just brought it out for today I reached up on the shelf and said oh, let's fly the old stealth alpha there he is right there got the skunk works uh, logo there Got Lockheed Martin right there and Lockheed Martin right there. As you can see, it suffered a little. And I have an altimeter reading we can do because since I did not do it on the field once I found it. I was heading out and I went up, was just searching for it before I left. All the shroud lines are here. Yeah, it leaped off the pad on the E-12. It was a nice high flight. All the Kevlar survived at the parachute. I got to go Kevlar on this guy right here. It ripped all the shroud lines off, all those paper discs and however loops they had, they had loops on them. I'm just going to start cutting because these shroud lines, I'm not going to keep them. Eh. Let me see. Can I save them? If I can save any, if I can save them, I may. But let me see. If they're too tangled, it may not even be worth it. Yeah, this may just be too much of a mess. Let me see. If I can get this off here. This is the altimeter. Oh, yeah, this is just twirled all around. It just tumbled and tumbled. But yeah, I thought I lost it. It went up there and I was watching the parachute. That's where I cut the videos. I had to get my eye just on the parachute. I'm not even sure if you guys were able to see it anyway. So I started following that and I'm like, wait, this drift is too much. That's probably just the parachute and the rocket's probably on the ground somewhere. Unless it was just a Conan parachute, because that can happen sometimes too. But I went on and um, did a search before going. Went up high on a hill. Now they were spotted. it. said, there, he, there we go. There it is. So it saved the day, um, or I saved the day by finding it. Because sometimes it's a needle in the haystack. And I found a few here and there. I found other stuff too. Like just, I found some rockets. Like as long as you have the general area where it probably separated, you can, you can get them. You can get them back. It's got to put a little time into it. I mean, the so long is gone. That one, and I had name, I have an address on that, or at least I have my phone number on there. And that one was never discovered by anybody unless somebody got it and just holding on to it but still holding out hope maybe one day it'll 
it will resurface and somebody will call me or text me and say, hey, I found this rocket. And I'll be like, yeah, there we go. But right now, the so long is still going. But the stealth is found. It's right here. Because I knew I had my altimeter in there. So I was like, oh, I got to I gotta give it a search. And I'm glad I did. Glad I did. So I found it down in the little crevice, as you saw in the video. You can see that was an area where water runs down whenever that big monsoon rains come. Which I didn't see much monsoon this summer here in Arizona. It was a hot one. And even today, like it's fall now. It's still still hitting that 100 degree mark. 100, 100 plus. 102, 103. It's still kind of cooking. Which makes me not want to really fly all that much. Because it's so hot. So these are shroud lines. These are kind of okay. Those are okay. So I can save this that piece there. But Stealth Alpha is back in hand. Just got to do something up top. You can see this got crunched. So I can see it crunched nose first. Parachute was out and gone. And it just fell. Yeah, so this is all crunched. It's fixable for sure. It's fixable. Let's see if I can even get the cone to go in. If I can get the cone in there, then I can, you know, find a way to harden it up or just replace cut this away and replace that little piece like it's about a half inch or a quarter inch piece of BT I believe this is BT 60 yeah, yeah this is BT 60 I believe so let's see uh, can the cone get on there uh, yeah it gets on there yeah all right yes yeah, so do some shaping and forming yeah let's get this all shaped again and formed so yeah, this can be fixed. That's an easy fix for the most part. Either it can cut it and make it shorter or lead, or just replace that whole top section. But we got that back. Now, let's go to the altimeter if it still survived. I've wrapped it up, so it should be good. Let's turn them on. And it comes on. And this last reading will be for the um for this launch. The last reading was with last this was the last flight. So there should be a few launches in there. I've been letting them stack up. So here we go. 1311 feet. Wow, he was up there pretty good. 282 mile an hour on the E12. Fantastic. And um, 2.68 seconds of thrust. Yeah, that's the E12. Yep. And 18.8 Gs at peak acceleration. Yeah, he did good. He did good. Average acceleration was 4.8 Gs it pulled. So nice flight coast um, at to apogee of 4.1 seconds. Wow, this thing was... So this self alpha can haul. That's why I like this rocket so much. Um, I've flown it on some F F44W trying to hit that 2,000 feet mark. So I have to find, if you know a motor that's 24 millimeter and long that can, it's, it's a long, um, this is set deep. So, or or even a short one because I had the adapter, but I want to find something that can really get up there good. But this was this was good. 1,300, um, one, yeah, 1,300 feet. So that was pretty nice. Pretty nice. And I'm glad to have it back. I'm glad I, you know, just... I had to go search. Always go look. Always go look. But yeah, guys, you saw it today. This was a great flight. Pretty good day. These three birds here. Yeah, little ragtag bunch. That hella rock, the high deck, and the stealth alpha. So, as usual, subscribe to the channel. Support any way you can. Appreciate you all. Build something, fly something. Have fun. Smile Rock 321. And I am out of here.